just as the Roman engineers did nearly 2,000 years ago. Engineers today are going to be harnessing the hot temperatures of this spring to help us heat these buildings. What they're going to be doing is placing energy blades into this spring with pipes attached to them. They will draw on that hot water that will then feed the radiators in these buildings and our claw learning centre. I think we've all got a responsibility to get to net zero by 2030 and this is one of the first ways that the Roman Bath can, um, can do that. The council declared a climate emergency pre-Covid and that kind of derailed things a bit so it's now time to get back on track. It's going to be a huge effort to get the whole of Bath and North East Somerset Council's estate down to net zero by 2030 and we've got to do everything we can. It's particularly difficult in heritage buildings where you're restricted by listed building consent and um, things like that. But this is one of the first ways we can start on that journey and there's plenty more to come over the next few years. We're here in the King's Bath. We're installing these energy blades here behind me to collect the energy for the new heat pump system that's being installed over the next five, six weeks. It'll provide all the heating for the Roman Bath complex. The heat pump system here is 100 kilowatts at the moment, so there's room for expansion in the future, but 100 kilowatts is the equivalent of heating somewhere between 20 and 30 sort of average domestic houses in the UK. So the thermal waters, um, although they're very kind to sort of human beings, unfortunately they're not very kind to most metals, which has given us quite a few challenges the actual chemical composition with the sort of minerals and, and certain minerals that produce corrosion. Uh, as, a, as a result of that, we've had to put in some very high grade um, stainless steel into everything that we've put into the actual spring water itself. If the water's about 43 degrees now, 44, then we think it's going to drop to about 41 to 40, which is still hot enough to produce quite a bit of steaming effects. It will reduce the carbon footprint by using heat from the hot spring to lessen our demand on gas power to heat the, heat the site. And it's really exciting and innovative for us. And it's really interesting that this site was at the cutting edge of technology in Roman times. And now we're doing the same thing here.